hey guys you're welcome on here it's a pleasure to have you this is your topical girl sedm thank you for logging on to my youtube channel so on this video i will be talking about the recently invited house member in the big brother niger season five in and that is the person of it is praise we know the, his evasion from the house came as a shocker to so many people like oh they did not expect him to live at this time just because he has a lot of drama he was confrontational he was a kind of bully like the housemates classify him but definitely it is game and it is what it is he's out of the game he's out on the media tour this week and you know nigerians africans would not even have let him would not even let him continue his tour or would not um stop interviewing him without asking him about that particular question which they also asked at katrina when she got out of the room that scene that situation that space when they were so so intimately together and uncle Prez has come to say you know what that what they were doing was aggressively kissing and people had been asking oh this kind of kiss it must be too aggressive that <laughs> we don't even know what to describe it but that was that is what he has come to let people know you know what that what they were doing there was just an um, aggressive and um, kissing and katrina had already said what they were doing was aggressive cuddling of course you would not uh, if you were expecting a different response from them you are on a long chain they are both adults i'm sure they would have had a conversation you know what this is what i said this is what is ongoing but all they said we have to leave them to their faith they are adults they can take care of themselves and they actually um um actually moving on with their light they've got in the fame they they want they're moving on with their individual activities and then now the reward is upon them so asking him of so many questions about other housemates me okay before i even go further of course when you get out of the house you would know what people have been saying about you those who eventually voted you out and his greatest shocker was seeing that you voted him out like everybody would say this is purely game and strategy so it is what it is you've got you just got how to if they say no if your um, fans, your fan base outside cannot save you like other people, do not blame the people inside to a very large extent. And that's what some of them are forgetting in the house, that this is a game and it is pure strategy that whatever you do there, just try as much as possible to be less emotional and sentimental, put in your work into the game, do the best you can do and then leave the rest. In the long run, there would always just be a singular winner to go with um, the money but what will definitely work for you is your activities in house and other things and if we recall vividly praise though he was people say oh he was uh, much of a talker like he talks a lot he had so many things to portray he dances a lot he had so much energy i would call him um an energy man and if he positioned the energy in the right proportion i can show you that he would do a great um he would do great with us still on his media um tour around the nigeria some of the various media has his come to i'm sure when he got at he realized that oh lacon is um they talk about Lacon, those supporting him, his fan base is so huge and he has also come to say, you know what, now he among his top five person, who did he measure, I think he measured Nengi, he measured uh, Lacon, Erika and um, who Prince, I think there's a fifth person, I don't have that very close to me now, but I'm sure because he was like, oh, Lacon is actually underrated in the house, so many people are like, oh, even Prince, oh, you, even Prince, not Prince, I think there was one Prince in from a BB, my, a BB Africa some time ago, even Prince, you are among those who also um, underrated him but coming out to see that you know um, Lacon has a lot of um, fan base he's really really um he's really shocked or surprised to that extent but like we the time is already here the right now it is what it is so everybody they are on their toes they're doing what they have to do granting a lot of interviews to many people out there and then I don't know Okay, also, he also said he's going to definitely uh, apologize to his fiance for the time in the Big Brother house, like that intimate time he had um, with Katrina. He's going to apologize to her on that particularly because that's what everybody was saying. So, if you have a fiance outside the house, so that uh, you could get to the essence of being this close to somebody, it means uh, it's a lot of um, disrespect. But he had, I think he also mentioned before then that yes she had asked him to do whatever he likes to do and if you could also recall vividly sometimes brighton <laughs> brighton will not kill us the <laughs> 
mischievous they even know him as a very mischievous man in the house like okay you know my bright actually had a conversation with kid wire where he told um the when he told kid wire that you know what the lady was 60 and above um 60 years <laughs> And that he does other stuff with other women. Prez had come to say, no, the fiance is actually not 60 years. She's less than that. Uh, I think so very light and um, little information on that aspect of it. But now we have to leave them so that they continue doing whatever they have to do. Do I, do I even have to talk about one of the season four? One of the season four has me who had come out to say, in the person of Toy, Toy is the guy, is the guy with the bar head, and that comes to say, no, that he's not a part time stripper. What he needed to do at that time was to call himself a stripper so that he would gain all this, he could gain people. But uh, I think a year plus running down, he's saying, Oh, he's feeling sorry for um bringing out what and who he was to the world because it's a global it's not just it's, yes to the world beyond africa so many people also say that okay he's come to say no this has taunted him taunted him for the time being and now he's come to say no he's not that he wanted fame and all of that and he has come to say that is not what he is that is not who he is that this is what he is okay and so many people have been responding on various social media platforms well whatever it is i think the deed has been done but who knows this may be at least he has said it out of his ma of his um of his mind and heart so his conscience is very very free we have so many other news about this so let's watch out and see other housemates that has been evicted how far they're doing we could see a lot of them are doing very uh, spectacular things already they have been endorsed by some brands already they are doing so many things that's one of the um things the, pl the platform offers you it automatically push you out to think then maintaining it is not left to you and your brand management this is your typical girl acdma please if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly do this for me and if you have more comments for me in the comment if you had more feedback for me kindly let me know in the comment um, section i really like that and then I'm your girl SD Wunder and it will be a pleasure. Um, I'll be back. Yes, I'll be back to share some more lovely and uh, topical stories with you. Do have a very, very pleasant time. Bye bye.